Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this card with the candles. Um, I saw it out there and I thought, oh, I just love that. And plus, the other reason I like it is because it gives another use for the die, table setting die that's in the holiday mini catalog. I don't know if you can see it, but right here is the shape and the leaves that I'm going to use for flames. And I just loved the idea, and I love when you can double use um, one of your products. So I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to pull in a piece that I have cut out with the die, a piece of real red cardstock. I did cut it down so that it's a little bit shorter than when it comes straight off of the Bigs die cut with the Big Shot. What I'm doing now is I'm taking my real red craft ink and stamping the poinsettia from the Berry Christmas stamp set, which I just love. I'm going to stamp that. I just want it subtle, so I've stamped that. Now I'm going to take the old olive and the little berries for the center and stamp those. And then I'm going to use some clear embossing powder and emboss them. And so you're not going to hear for a second, you'll hear, well you will, you'll hear my embossing tool while I heat up the powder to get that um, all that powder melted for the candle. So just a moment here. Set that down and this does get very, very hot. So you want to be aware of that with your fingers. There it goes. It's starting to melt. I often use a tweezer when I'm doing this so that my fingers don't melt. But we'll just set it down and get the rest of this melted up. There we go. Now I have my candle made with the um, different flowers on there. Oops, I missed one little corner. Let me see if I can snap just with that. There we go. Got that. Sorry about that. Okay, now I've taken my paper. The paper is from the Merry Moments Christmas Designer Paper Series set. And I'm using that on a background of real red cardstock for a little mat. And I'm putting on my Stampin' Dimensionals so that the one candle, you didn't see me put them on, but I put them on, the Stampin' Dimensionals so that the one candle will pop up a little bit while um, the other one is behind. So I want to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'll put this down. I've already put one candle and one flame down just to save some time here. Get the last dimensional off and we'll place down my other candle. I offset them just a little bit and then I took the Merry Christmas stamp from the All Holidays stamp set and I'm going to ink that up again with the Craft Red ink and I'm going to stamp that just right about here and I use the Craft ink so that it shows up, it's a little more opaque and it will show up better over um, the designer paper. And I'm going to heat set that too because I want to have that glossy look. One more time. And there it goes. You want to get all that powder melted. Okay. Set that aside to cool. Then I took the little leaf die piece from that table setting die and I cut it out and sew saffron so that I could get the flames. And to add a little bit of dimension to that, I took my more mustard ink and I just with a dauber went around the edge to give a little bit of dimension to that piece. So now I can take that and with a little bit of snail, get that little backing out of there, with a little bit of snail, set my other flame. I'm going to put that just right there so that it's not blocking the Mary too much. Okay, and here's a, a trick that I use often with my ribbon. I'll take and do my ribbon in two pieces. So with my shorter piece that will go straight across the card, I'm going to just put a little bit of the, um, or two of the glue dots, the mini glue dots on each end and then I'll just wrap that around the card just like that and just like that and then that will be 
my base and I don't have anything on the back side and that will save me a little bit of ribbon. And this ribbon is from the Holiday Mini Catalog also. It's really pretty. It's a taffeta ribbon with the vanilla edging. And then I'll take and hopefully get this done on the first time and take this and tie up a bow for the front of the card and just do there we go and I can play with that if as much as I want to get the bow to look exactly how I want it to look and I'll putter with that okay then I'm going to take and put my snail on the back of that take my old olive card base set the entire project down and set that down. Now my last step would be to finish off my ribbon tails in a nice notched um, tail like I have in this card with a pair of scissors and I love our paper and ribbon scissors. They are just wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed watching me make this card using the table die, our table setting die that goes with the Big Shot and making the little votive candles that I just love with this Christmas card. And my website is www.mystamplady.com and join me again. Thanks for watching.